Hi everybody, this is Odd Samurai and today I'm going to be reacting to Blue Exorcist uh, Illuminati Shimani Hen, I think, Saga, whatever, episode 4. So last time we had, um, uh, for the most part, a lighthearted episode with Shima and Rin just making a fuss about uh, finding uh, trying to find a girl that they can't ask for to go to like the the festival with or specifically the dance uh, But they, they they didn't have any luck <laughs> So they joined the uh, What was it called? It was like a committee, you know for like Assisting the, the people in the festival Sarin was at a food stall and Shima was like like security thingy with like Suguro and Yukio but the big focus of, of the last episode, for me at least, uh, was Shiemi <clears throat> and just trying to uh, figure out on her own way uh, the difference between romantic love and friendship love <clears throat> which he, she had actually been kind of trying to, you know, figure that one out ever since like I want to say season one, <laughs> but I do remember in season two, or the the content in season two, were like uh, I don't remember specifically what Rain tells her, and then she's like, ah, oh, don't worry, uh, we'll be friends forever. So that kind of like, oof, you know, <laughs> that uh, bumped Rain out, but of course she didn't see anything bad with it, or like you know, or like breaking his heart because you know. For her, there was never any possibility of romance uh, with anyone there. But she wanted to invite Yukio, not necessarily uh, for romantic reasons, but just because she's a very close friend that uh, she cares about. And she knows that he's been having uh, a bit of a rough time lately, just looking very distracted and he just, you know, uh, having a lot of heavy thoughts while he thinks that no one notices but Shiemi does as well as Rin even though Yuko doesn't want to share you know what it is that is troubling him <clears throat> so she wanted to do that so she could take his mind off things but of course you know Rin took it as oh she surely she must uh, want to date him so then you know we have Rin uh, focusing more on his studies and then she and me just talking, I think, with Baku about, you know, oh, Rain, uh, I totally thought Rain was going to ask you because, you know, he definitely has a thing for you. And she and me just kind of like, uh, I don't know about that. And then she was worried that uh, things would be awkward between her and Rain the next time they saw each other. But then, you know, we saw that scene where he just approaches her and she just starts laughing. And then they just, you know, he just grabs her hand and they go on. And that's when she realizes, oh, I'm in love with Rin. Like, I totally forgot it happened that early. Um, but I'm so, that that was so sweet. And then they go and they ask Yuki to dance with them. That was super precious. It actually got, got me emotional just thinking about it. And I went back and saw the manga version, and it, honestly, I kind of prefer the anime version by a little bit more. Uh, and then uh, we had Isumo, uh, that she was asked by Irene to help him out with the food stall. Uh, but, you know, she was like, well, why don't you ask Shimi? Or, you know, but he's like, eh, not right now. And she's busy. And like, okay, well, then any other girl. It's like, oh, but it has to be someone that I can trust. And that's when she, uh, she was like, mm, damn it, okay, fine. Uh, and then she says something along the lines of like, oh, you're too trusting. And Rain just kind of gets confused and doesn't really get it. But then Isumu just walks away. And then we see later that she's still thinking about it and wasn't really going to... Uh, go there but you know she's kind of like ah oh, well I guess I'll feel bad if I 
if I don't go, which is like, <laughs> okay, it's a more be be it in there. You we we know you want to go because of what he told you, and then we uh, get left in a cliffhanger with I think it was Takara, uh, who brought like a puppet that looks like her familiars, and she uh, reacted very strongly to that. So that's where we left off. Uh, I didn't see much that was cut from last episode of the chapters. Uh, that kind of responded to it, so that's pretty good. Uh, so with that, let's just start. In five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> okay, opening first. <laughs> oh, I really like the way that Yukio becomes the flame in the logo. But yeah, man, that is seen in last week's episode with Yukio, Shiami, and Rin just melted my heart from how wholesome it was. And just, you know, it's never been truly clear, but I think Yukio uh, did at some point like Shiami romantically, but just, you know, with so much that he has going on, just kind of just put it in the back burner, in the back of his mind. And just never really truly let himself think about it. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, here. It looks very worn out and dirty. I actually don't remember what her connection is with this thing. Aside from the obvious. Oh, so she already knew about the Illuminati. Yeah, 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 okay. Man, I, yeah, it's been too long. Oh man, this might be the last episode we see Arthur and uh, Lightning, since they're not really that essential to the arc. I really like the lighting here. Oh. Oh shit, what? Traitors. Oh, okay. I, I get it now. Oh shit. Damn. Yo, I, I forgot Lightning did this, but I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of not surprised.
Oh, okay. She's already told that told everyone. Shame. Mm. Is Sukumo her sister? Okay, they didn't translate that. What? This is too unfair. Yeah, this is definitely gonna leave more than a scratch. Oh, I forgot about this thing. <laughs> He's been hiding a lot of things. Damn. Yep. Of course, for a demon of that level, it would be pretty easy to do that. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, what is that? Why is he sigh like that? Oh, yep, man. I, I remember the first time I saw the page for this. I could not believe my eyes. Even now, I still have mixed feelings about Shima. I will say he's definitely a very, very good uh, at playing both sides. Oh shit, yes! They're going to see this. Oh, yeah, well... They were being delayed. Oh... Yeah, that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, Mephisto! Bro, do something about this! <laughs>
Oh shit, he's actually here? Nah, not physically. Must be like a, a spiritual, yeah, message. Just like a hologram type thing. Oh shit, no, he's actually here! What? Mm. A year, huh? Oh. Mm, right, right. Oh. oh damn, I did not expect him to look so angry. Yeah, he probably was exerting himself a lot just by being here. Mm. Mm. Oh. Shima! Ah. Oh, yeah, of course Suguru would be the most affected by that. Oh, wow. Mm. 
Mm? From what? From Clashing with Rain? Or just uh, from the demon that he was using? Whoa. Oh, shit. Well, at least there were some barriers, but a lot of places still got damaged. Hmm. Uh... Ooh, this is steamy. Let's freaking go. Hmm. What? Why? Why? But like... Oh, the Koneko. Oh. That's right. Okay, that's the end. <clears throat> yeah, man. <laughs> Like I, like I said, it's been so long since I read this part of the manga. So unless I go uh, until I go back and reread these chapters after this, I had <laughs> it, it's basically like a, I was almost um, experiencing some scenes for the first time. Like I also had no recollection of uh, the conversation between. Uh, Lucifer and Meph Mephisto. Shima and Ring clashing there. Just, and just the the robot that Nemo pulls, uh, Takara. And yeah, the yeah a lot of things here. <laughs> just like I said, just the main things is where I was like, oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Now, of course, I could never forget. Like, that's a big thing of Hoshima going forward, that he was a spy from the Illuminati. I don't know, I probably... I started reading Blood Exorcist when I was like... Um... Like a sophomore in high school, probably? So that would have been... Oh, goodness. <laughs> like 10 years ago uh something like that 10 or 9 so yeah like i said it's been a bit since i've only read this arc once <laughs> so if if, if anything it it, <laughs> it makes these reactions um you know not so much a manga readers but simply someone who knows things are gonna happen, uh, <laughs> but not too well. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, I like the episode, um, but th there was just, you know, like I said, the biggest thing was the Shima reveal, and it's just one of those, like, 
uh, major things in the art that I just would not forget. Uh, but yeah, just <laughs> seeing Shima trying and act as if he actually was trying to help out uh, Itsumo, uh, I was just like, ugh. Now for characters like uh, Koneko and uh, Suguro, I 100% do not believe that he wouldn't care about them. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, other characters in the X-Wires, uh, that's when I'm like, ah, does he actually care for them? He's so hard to read sometimes because he's so two-faced. <laughs> And he kind of likes it to be that way, to not be, for people to not uh, see it through him. But one of those people who can actually do that is, uh, you know what, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> uh, because it's from future arcs, not relevant here. But, yeah. No, I don't get, like, at the end where Mephisto was like, oh, you know, Takara, you, you can trust Takara. But it's like, what? But we just saw him trying to capture Isumo. Or maybe it's just one, one thing that is like, um, you know, I'm trying to capture you. And that's why I was told not to hurt you. Because I'm trying to capture you before the Illuminati get to you, basically. I'm actually trying to keep you safe. That's, that's one way to see it, I guess. But then why he, <laughs> he use the freaking... Uh, Robert, that definitely did not seem the type to like, you know, take her without injuring her. And like, could he not have uh, told her that, you know, that he was working for Mephisto? But then he mentions the Illuminati as well. But he just says, yeah, my client told me not to harm you unless I don't have to. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, the stuff with Sakura is like the most, uh, I'm having like trouble remembering because he's just such a, <laughs> he kind of just disappears later on and just doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things in, in the current arc. So it's like, I, yeah, like what is with this guy? Is he actually a trustworthy thing? I, I guess, yeah, I, I think that that is what it is. I think I got it right. Uh, but yeah, I remember uh, the girl with the white and black hair being quite prominent, but I don't remember honest, anything other than just she's just very loyal to Lucifer. Um... But yeah, I, I really like the stuff of uh, everyone finding out uh, that Shima is, well, you know, is uh, acting treacherous. But especially, you know, it would hit with uh, Sugar and Koneko more because they've been childhood friends with him since they were, they were like, what, like, <laughs> so they can remember. So. Yeah, it definitely would be much, much <clears throat> difficult for them to believe this is actually real. But yeah, other than that, I mean, just, uh, direction and animation was uh, pretty consistent and nice throughout. Uh, but the art, uh, the quality of the art, uh, and the designs weren't always looking uh, 10 out of 10, but that's fine. <clears throat> uh, so that's going to be me, my reaction for this episode of Blue Exorcist Season 3. So if you liked it, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.